hundreds of shareholders at the 58th annual general meeting of flour mills of Nigeria PLC. It's another opportunity for them to receive report and financial highlights from the directors and statutory committees on the company's performance for the year ended March the 31st, 2018. And the company secretary seated on the platform. First, the chairman gives the company's scorecard. I think our shareholders, our stakeholders, our customers should expect further growth of our brands and our products, further presence in the marketplace, and a strong performance of our, of our consumer and industrial brands. Uh, as far as shareholders are concerned, we are continually looking to build the strength of our company, the presence of our products in the markets, our ability to deliver the different uh, products and categories that we're introducing as one of the largest food and agri-allied companies in the nation. For the shareholders, the report appears encouraging, but they want the company to do more in the incoming year. There is need for us to always make sure that valuations are in reality with the current market price. With the declaration of 13.6 billion Naira profit after tax and one Naira per unit share, the Group Managing Director of Flour Mills of Nigeria PLC gives assurance of a better performance in the new year. We will do our best to put the right uh, resources in place to ensure that we deliver the budget for the 2018-2019 financial year and give confidence to our stakeholders so that um, they will be happy with our performance. Flour Mills became a public limited liability company in 1978 with its shares listed on the Nigerian Stock Exchange.